Hello beautiful Capricorns, how are you? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. I'm so glad you're here, hope everyone's doing well. Let's get some shuffles in here. Oops, for our beautiful Capricorn friends, we had a flipper. Flipper, flippers are always significant. Capricorn, ooh, you would really like to release something, make a final decision on something, okay. So let's see what's going on in your relationship. Bottom of the deck energy, page of pentacles, an offer to somebody. You do have some remorse, regret, some sleepless nights, not knowing quite what to do after a possible breakup. And let's see what's going on in this reading. Okay, so the energy between you and your person in the recent past is very much the nine of pentacles energy, Virgo energy. In the current situation, how you feel currently as a mutual, as a twosome, is you want a new beginning, something very substantial. How your person views the situation, they want to work on things, they want to get to know you better. They, you know, we go from the eight, the nine, all pentacles, Capricorn, this is, you know, your energy is all earth sign energy. All right, so we have two Virgos and an earth sign energy. Your person views you as a tower card, somebody who is in a very dramatic change in your life that you really want to either build a new foundation or destroy an old one. All right, your person in their heart space feels that you are their soulmate. It looks like you've probably known each other for very many years. This can also be about a reconciliation, but it also it's more of a reunion card. So you may get to see this person may contact you out of the blue or you may contact them out of the blue. What do we see in terms of how your person views the situation and more future movement into the, you know, into a future together? They feel sad and lonely. The mutual energy between the two of you is a lot of confusion. You really don't know what you're going to choose, what you're going to do. It's almost like you have a fantasy relationship within the framework of a work relationship. This doesn't look like a union in the typical sense. All right. What is spirit advising you? Page of Cups. When pigs fly interesting energy what spirit is basically saying in my viewpoint we're going to go ahead and clarify this momentarily but it says that this may not be a forever relationship this could be a really beautiful relationship that is not meant to be to have a future okay it also can mean that children be would be affecting the relationship the ace of cups is your outcome though the two of you are falling in love that is your outcome capricorn really strong love for one another okay let's see what we have here in terms of clarifiers why is a page of coins here why is this offer a small offer pick up the cards and take this one somebody's coming in okay so it's a small offer made very abruptly so this offer is made spur of the moment without a lot of forethought very spontaneous, very quick motion, coming in very quickly with an idea to spend time with you. So Capricorn, why do we have the Virgo? Beautiful Nine of Pentacles. Hermit card, okay. So Capricorn, you may be involved with a Virgo. It's a very compatible energy for you. But it does show that the two of you are both very independent, that you've been thinking about each other, but it does look like you're in separation because you're both seeking answers. Now, you could be seeking answers alone and spending time with each other, but it's a very thoughtful energy that both of you share in this relationship in the recent past, thinking about the future. The Ace of Coins, an offer looks as though it is clarified as coming from a place of sadness or separation, disappointment. You're both offering something better after you've had some sort of disappointment in the relationship. It does look like it's a makeup card, that there's been sadness. It looks as though Capricorn, your person feels as though you broke up with them, and the two of you are trying to make things work at the present time. Your person's in it to win it with that eight of coins, but there are is clarified 
by the Knight of Wands. So that is a lack of long-term commitment in terms of how they view the situation. They are not seeing themselves married to you or you know, having a long-standing commitment with you. They feel as though this is a, a romance for a period of time. Okay. They see you as a person who is not necessarily in this to win this. It does look like you were the one that broke up with them in the past or something. I would also say for many of you, this might be a relationship that you had as teenagers. And you know how we have in America, we have those class reunions 25 years later. So I feel, feel that for many of you, this may be a midlife relationship or, you know, 10 year class reunion for that matter in which you may have dated in high school, broken up, and now you see each other. It's a shock, and both of you want to spend time together and explore an actual love relationship. It'll be different. This is like a buffet table. If one card or one storyline part does not apply to you, it's like a buffet table. Leave it. Okay. Leave what, you, what doesn't resonate. Okay. Three of coins. Again, lots of communication. Your person sees a way forward as being very possible if both of you want it. So they feel as though if you're both in it to win it, you can win it. If you're not both in it to win it, there is no victory. Hidden energy, the Seven of Cups is clarified by the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles knows what he wants. So it's an interesting energy. Both of you are very, very stable. You know, well, you're both the Nine of Pentacles. You both appear to be single. You both appear to be available, but it does look like your person, Capricorn, is less interested in something long-term and committed than you are. But why do you have all of this tower card? Okay, so basically you broke up this with this person, but you didn't release them. You cut them out of your life because you thought that they were... You know, this player energy is what I think. There was no stability. They didn't claim you as a partner because of the player energy or, thir you know, and that's player energy, in and out energy. They weren't making a commitment. They weren't balanced with you. You fell in love with them. Again, they didn't give you the victory you wanted because you wanted the Empress card. So you're feeling Capricorn. If they don't bring you something solid, you are not interested and you are moving along into your own future without them. And here's your energy, Capricorn energy. You'll keep to yourself. You'll let them go. You're, you'd rather be solid alone than to be in a relationship with somebody who's causing a lot of drama, turmoil, and player energy. You're not having it. You may love them. You are falling in love with them. They are falling in love with you. But you are definitely going to make a head over heart decision with that Queen of Wands. I mean, excuse me. The King, I can't even talk. The Queen of Swords, the Tower card, the Six of Wands reversed, releasing this person but not fully for what you want. You are absolutely willing to make a fair and balanced decision and override your emotions. You know that you'll still love this person, but you are not going to settle for less. And so the water taxi is here. If this person is not on the same page with you, you you're bored, you don't want it, you're not interested in that sort of thing. So love is not enough. You want more than love, and you're just not going to have it. If this person doesn't come in with an offer that starts to look like a, a marriage offer, you are so not interested. Okay, so let's leave what the messages of love or cards have to say about this situation for your cap. We're also going to pull monology and two oracle cards from the, the shaman's dream oracle. Warning, don't dismiss the red flags. Okay, makes sense. Mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson. Beautiful. So here you go. You're not ignoring the red flags. You're absolutely paying attention. You know, you're keeping your options open because this person keeps their options open. And you're, you're going to take care of yourself because you think when pigs fly at the end of the day, you know, spirit has said this person doesn't have what it takes or they're not in the right frame of mind, at least at this time in their life. 
let's see what the Moonology Oracle says, but it does say enjoy yourself. It does say, you know, take it for what it is, don't make it what it isn't, take the time to enjoy it if you want it, and that's the advice, but hold on to your heart and don't give your whole heart away. All right, the answers you need are coming beautiful, okay. Capricorn, Capricorn, this is looking more promising as we go here. So, let's see, two cards from the Shaman Stream Oracle for advice, and here they are. They just flipped over. Caterpillar, take whatever opportunity that you feel you should take and enjoy it for what it is and you need direction. You are a little bit lost here because you are in love with this person, which is really throwing you into a state of turmoil. <coughs> I want to thank you so much for your viewership. Capricorn, please leave comments below if you like, subscribe, share if you did enjoy the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.